Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to play classic id games on your Android phone. And uh, to do that, first, you'll have to get the Amazon Underground app. Uh, it is not available in the Play Store, so you will have to sideload it. So make sure unknown sources are checked. And uh, what you, uh, just go to your uh, web browser or Google Chrome on your Android phone. Search for Download Amazon Underground. And then uh, right here, make sure you get it from www.https. Uh, www.amazon.com tap on that I already have it installed so I'll go to my apps here and uh, these are only available from Amazon Underground they are not on the Play Store so you will have to get Amazon Underground to do this and they are not free either with the exception of one but we'll get to that so first I'll start with Doom here so uh, Doom to get Doom up and running you'll have to get the app install it and it will create a folder is this over oops it will create a folder called uh tap here it will create a folder called beloco or beloco i'm not sure but b e l o k o b e l o k o sorry and uh in this one after depending on what uh apps you install it will create a new folder for each app <clears throat> in that same folder so uh, it will create doom for this app and here in the full folder you'll find uh this is where it keeps uh your uh, setup file <clears throat> for gz doom so uh here in the base of the full of the full folder you'll have to put your iwads <clears throat> and these are wads that uh, you need to run mods and uh custom wads like a uh, from the community and stuff like that. So Doom 2, Doom, Free Dooms, and all that. Platoonia, TNT. So in this folder, in the base of the full folder, put these wads here. And the app will tell you all this stuff anyway. So uh, in the mods folder here, this is where you put like Brutal Doom 64 and uh, Hell on Earth starter pack. That's for uh, Brutal Doom, I believe. And, uh, and just... Also, I think I also have a uh, brutal doom here. Yeah, brutal doom, just plain brutal doom. And here in the wads folder, this is where you put like your community wads, your uh, custom wads, master levels. You know, it needs Doom Two to run, so this is where these wads go. So to get uh, get it up and running, say you just want to play Doom Two and nothing else, just or what or any other one. Just tap Doom Two, tap full, and then it'll. Play the wad. Uh, yeah, run the wad. So just, uh, and there are touch controls, of course, but I can't stand touch controls, so I'm using my controller for this. So, uh, so that's just, uh, that's playing, uh, just Doom on there. And, uh, if you want to play mods, what you'll have to do is tap w the wads, uh, button here. Go to mods. And let's say you want to play Do uh, Brutal Doom 64. So tap on Brutal Doom 64 game, maps, and music. I do believe these have to be tapped in certain in, in the right order. If not, it probably won't run. You'll probably get an error or something. So I, I'm pretty sure you these have to be tapped in order because they launch in a specific order. So it'll, it'll run them in this order, the, the order that you tap them on. And then it needs Doom 2 to run. So make sure Doom 2 is selected. Now your mods are there, and then tap full. And now you're now uh, you're playing Brutal Doom sixty four with the Doom two wad. This is the same Brutal Doom that uh, is for PC. This is the PC uh, the PC uh, Brutal Doom wad, but uh, it is running on a GZ Doom port for Android through this app. So you don't need a special Android version of this mod. Just the PC version will work. The PC wads will work. So, uh, and same thing with any other mods. Quit this. I've had I've had trouble with some mods not running, like uh, Project Brutality would not would not launch. But uh, that's the I think that's the only oops I think that's the only one I came across probably. But yeah, Bru uh, Project Brutality did not work. Let's quit back. And uh, or you can even do stuff like, uh, let's play uh, Chex Quick.
quest here. Uh, uh, go back here and let's try uh, using the uh, Brutal Doom wad, or uh, sorry, mod. Uh, yeah, here it is. This is just plain Brutal Doom. And uh, it's pretty actually pretty funny. I've never played Chex Quest before, so this is my first time playing it. Well, not my first time here, but I've been playing it. But I've been playing it with the Brutal Doom mod instead, which is kind of hilarious. Because you're playing Chex Quest with, uh, you know, with the Brutal Doom stuff added to it. Like that. And, uh... And instead of using a laser, they, you know, they explode into gore and all that. So uh, that's pretty, that, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty hilarious. The Brutal Doom water with uh, checks. So. Quit back out here. Okay, so that's playing classic Doom and Doom mods on your Android phone. Next, I think I'll do Quake. Oh, yeah, and uh, to do this, you will need... Your uh, your game setups from uh, either Steam or GOG. I use my Steam uh, library for from uh, for my Doom and uh, Quake and all that stuff. Quake's you know it's down there. Uh, so this is the PC files from my Quake install, or from my uh, Steam install, or yeah, my Steam installs. So I'll move this back out here. And then next, I guess I'll show off Quake here. Again, uh, after this app is installed, it will, uh, in the Beloco folder, create a Quake folder. Uh, and in the full folder again, in here, these folders here were copied from my, uh, from my directory, from Steam. These are the same fo uh, folders that came from my Steam install, copied onto my Android device. And then moved into this Quake folder here in the full folder. So once they're installed or copied over, you'll get these here, these options here. And so you can play the main campaign or these add-ons. I'll just launch the main uh, campaign. This came with my Steam purchase was all this content, all the add-ons. And they all run. So I'll launch the main campaign here. Okay, oops. Okay. So this is Quake running. This is from my Steam account. Just copied onto my Android device. And, uh, yeah, I'm playing on the angle here because I'm playing on my phone. But anyway, that's Quake running on it. And, uh, the exact same process for is used for Quake 2. So, uh, oops. And these are, uh, I did pay for all these apps, so you'll have to buy each one or whatever one you want to use, you'll have to pay for it. Same thing with Quake 2 here, exact same process as Quake 1. But, uh, yeah, Quake 2, you'll, you'll need, a. Uh, yeah, I didn't have that, <laughs> I didn't have that cut over there. But yes, same thing as uh, Quake for Quake 2. Exact same process. So uh, with uh, uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein here. Get it from your Steam library or your GOG library. Move it over here to RTCW full main. Or I guess this is just like the main folder that's in the install on, installed on Steam or GOG. Copy it onto your Android phone. Moved over to where the app wants it. And then there is no add-on. At least I don't. At least what I purchased didn't go with any add-ons. It's just the the main game. Tap on start full here. And this is Return to Castle Wolfenstein running. And on my phone, on my phone, it runs just fine. I haven't had any issues. But uh, load here. I don't think I had the controller set up properly. Because I only played it for a little bit. So I guess, yeah, I was just using the, the touch controls for this because I don't have the controller set up. So this is Return to Castle Wolfenstein running on it. So uh, 
I haven't played much of this yet. Just doesn't interest me, I guess. But it's still pretty neat to be able to play this on my phone. I think that's the only time I ever will play this game is on my phone when I'm bored. I just haven't seen any, you know, just didn't really care to play it right now. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, and uh, one last one here is, uh, now this one isn't, avail- isn't available from uh, the Amazon Underground app. This one here, move that over there. This one here you will have to go to the, their website, Beloco Games, or just Beloco, Beloco.com, and then click on Games up here, and then EC Wolf. And then this one here is free. You just download it from them. Let's see here. Here it is right here. The exact same thing uh, as before where you just uh, you go to your, wherever, you're, wherever the game's installed, GOG or whatever, find it, copy it onto your Android phone, and once the app is installed, it will create a folder called Wolf 3D. And the full folder again, uh, just put everything it wants. That will tell you what, uh, like where to put it and what files are needed. So once they're all in there, open up the app. And uh, yeah, just tap on Wolf 3D to play the game or keep tapping on this to pick different episodes of the Spear Destiny add-on here. Tap. Each tap. Changes the episode of the of the Fear of Destiny add-on. So just tap uh, Wolf 3D here or, you know, Spear of Destiny, episode 3, full. Oh, I guess I don't have it. No, oops. Okay, well, apparently I don't have the third one there. <laughs> I guess I missed that one. But anyway, this is a Spear of Destiny, uh, ep- the first one or the first episode or whatever it is. Running here. New game. Again, I don't have the controller set up for this one either, so it's my fault. Bring them on. So this is for now. I'll have to do all uh, touch controls, but uh, so yeah. You know, I hate touch controls and all, but uh. I don't have the controller set up for this one in particular, so but controller support is like the rest of them available, which is great because uh yeah. Playing these games on a touch screen is horrible. I highly recommend a controller. So uh yeah, that's playing classic id games on uh your Android phone. Get the Amazon Underground app. At least EC Wolf is free from their website. So I guess that's it.